Right, so welcome to this Vanus collaboration. This is a collaboration with a number of other YouTubers and this month we're looking at the top three modifications made to your motorhome or caravan. And uh, if you enjoy this video, don't forget to watch the other videos in the list. There will be a card at the end of this video and uh, you can have a look at the other videos. So what's our top three modifications made to our motorhome? Right, in number three is locking wheel nuts. Yeah, um, it's a security feature really, really and I, <laughs> whether this qualifies as a modification, I'm not absolutely sure, but I did have to take a nut off and put a nut on <laughs> yeah, each wheel. So you um, did, yeah. Yeah, and, and it's a really useful uh, and simple modification you can do to improve the security of your wheels. And particularly if you've got alloy wheels, you don't want people nicking your wheels. the wheel nut fitted. That's the first one fitted, just got the other three to do. Okay, so what's number two? Number two is USB lights. Okay, you can never have too many USB charging points. We've got microphones, we've got cameras, we've got phones, um, all sorts all of things, things that need charging. Yeah. And our experience of having a USB light or charging point on a light comes from when we borrowed the Bailey. The Bailey Baileys come with USB points in the uh, spotlights and we thought it was such a good idea we decided to fit one to our own Swift. So Swift if you're listening fit <laughs> USB, <laughs> USB lights. lights and it would save me the trouble of doing a modification. modification. But here's some footage of the various stages you went through. I'll, uh, trial before I fitted them so I undid the um, existing LED lights just to see what, what it all looked like. It gives you a chance also to figure out if it's going to fit. Now the next thing once you've got the lights off is how much slack, and this is key, how much slack have you got on this cable? I found that I had a lot of slack and uh, the tricky bit here for me was actually just pulling these connectors out and uh, it's only a little hole that they provided and eventually just wiggling them carefully they come out. What you've got to be careful of is you don't disconnect the connectors and spade connectors come off. Just make sure it works before you uh, install it. Yep, it works. And then you can feed the wire back in, sort of snuggle the connectors in through the little hole. Then it's to screw, it's got like a base plate on it. Uh, so you take that off and the screws, fortunately for this, actually match the original screw holes and then if you coil it round a little bit and then you push it and it's a push on and twist connection that's it that was basically it for me it was fairly straightforward I can charge my phone up now in the bedroom so what's our number, number one? one is the tow bar yeah tow bar is such a useful modification for a motorhome uh, it turns the motorhome into a much more versatile vehicle. We use it to tow our little uh, up, VW up, behind us on an A-frame, but you can use it for so many other things. Yeah, you can put a car on a trailer, can't you? You could tow a box trailer. You could, uh, what else could you do? Tow a motorbikes. Boat. Yeah, you could tow a boat, couldn't you, on a trailer? Yeah, you could tow yeah. a boat, a horse box. A hand glider. A hand glider. I've seen <laughs> hand gliders, yeah. yeah. I've seen racing cars, cars being towed yeah. behind it. I've seen, um, you know, uh, uh, snack bars being towed behind motorhomes. Yeah. Uh, I've seen Land Rovers being towed behind motorhomes. <laughs> but yeah. uh, fit in a tow bar is the most useful modification we've made to our motorhome. So here's some footage of you fitting the... Uh, Smart Glide. Tow a frame. frame. Smart, Smart Glide. Glide. Yeah, got the right name. Uh, to the back of the motorhome, and you can see the tow bar in this footage. Yeah. And us leaving a site sitting in the car. Yeah, so if you enjoyed the video, 
give us a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe if you haven't already and hit that notifications icon and we'll catch up with you in the next one. So enjoy this and don't forget to watch the other videos in this playlist. I've got uh, an attachment to allows me to easily change the number plates. Good for a quick getaway. <laughs> and uh, that's the motorhomes number plate now attached to the back of the car. What you can't see me doing, and I completely managed miss filming this, was I'm attaching a little frame, a, a little uh, board to the to the back window of the car. Now I've just started the car and I can manoeuvre the car about now. So if you're on a campsite you can easily manoeuvre the car into position. You get it you can get it reasonably close to the motor and you don't have to be too close. Now as long as the smart glide is in a semi-retracted position you can get within a couple of inches. I think I actually got within about two inches here. I didn't realise how close I was. But it's not that important about how close you get or how accurate you are because you can slide the frame about and that's the great beauty of this. I'm just taking the cap off the tow bar and you, you take it out. The wedge it's just fallen out. Like I said, I shouldn't have put it underneath. And uh, then you clip it on. Now, looking at this, there's a hitch lock on here. I don't know if you can see that. I actually got a hitch lock. So if you, if you leave the motorhome and the car attached in a car park, you can lock the hitch so people can't tow the car away. Obviously, they could steal the car anyway if they could break into it, but they can't tow it away. So there is a hitch lock if you're worried about parking in a car park. I've attached the breakaway cable there. That's just on a little hook at the on the tow tow frame in the car. Now, what I have to do is you switch the ignition on, switch it off, make sure the steering wheel moves about. So what you've done is you've freed the steering lock. Obviously, the handbrake needs to be off, and it needs to be in neutral. Close the door, and then what you do is you switch the smart the duo box on.